good. What is up? Man? What up? I'm Joe Flizzo. I'm a rapper, producer, and also managing director of Def Jam Southeast Asia. When it comes to music, I'm that dude, and I'm living the dream right here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. And if there's something that's always there to refuel my inspiration and recharge my mind, it's gaming. Let's go. My first memory of gaming was probably when I was a kid growing up in London. And I think my dad bought this console. It's called Sinclair Spectrum. And it was this skiing game that I kept playing every day. Growing up in Subang Jaya, there are a lot of uh, snooker halls and arcades. So I used to spend a lot of time at these arcades, playing Street Fighter, King of Fighters, Daytona, Outrunners. And this brought out a bit more competitiveness in, in a gamer. In 1996, when the internet came about and internet cafes started coming up, that was when I started gaming. You know, I played a lot of Counter-Strike. You could even play like FIFA on PC at these cyber cafes, right? Good I know you're gonna dig this. In the late 90s, Malik and I came together along with my homeboy Kevin, and we started Too Fat. And I am was featured on our second album, Plan B. Damien Shorty So was the producer of An I Am, and the software Fruity Loops had just released a PlayStation version. So he wrote the song <laughs> on the PlayStation. And we had to bring the PlayStation and the TV to the studio. Every time we played the tracks, we had to line it out and we record it. And no one ever done it before. And eventually Fruity Loops would become very famous with, with producers. It was the first time like I saw something so easy. A software running through a gaming console that teaches you how to make music. Yeah, it was dope. The Malik's on the dinosaur and I'm on the rhino. That's why I was mad, man. There are quite a number of gaming references in the video. It starts with the Fat Station logo. Also some Street Fighter kind of elements. Um, um, Tony Hawk, Pro Skater, like, you know, who got the best move and the elements. And I am, um, and that music video played such a significant role in, in shaping what Malaysian hip hop is today because I think it just got the conversation going and people became like a whole hip hop movement started from An I am. Gaming back then was just for fun, but I didn't realize how important it would become for me. In the music business, the fans really only hear and see the fun side, and there's a lot of that. But there's also so much more hustle. At the end of the day, it is a business. To be the best, you gotta rise to the top, beat the top, and stay there. Lucky for me, playing two of my favorite games has helped me with that. I'm talking about Football Manager and FIFA. If you think this game is just about casually playing football, you are so wrong. It goes beyond that. It's about the business, the teamwork, and everything off the pitch. Football manager, you're running everything about the club, from the signing of the players to the wages. You're gonna handle press conferences. You're dealing with contracts. These are all things that I deal with in my day-to-day. -day. There are a lot of egos that you need to manage. With music or with football, a player's happiness or an artist's happiness is integral in allowing the artist to be the best artist that person can be. When you play Ultimate Team, you know, you're running a team and putting together a squad. For me, the last one year has been like that because we just set up Dev Jam Southeast Asia in October of 2019 and we've been steady strengthening our squad. Just like in FIFA, sometimes you need to beef up your attack or beef up your defense. It's the same, we've been on a signing spree. We've got more than 20 artists over six countries in the span of one year. In that sense, you know, it's, it's a lot like a team, you know, Def Jam Southeast Asia and trying to build a squad of superstars with the right strategies. And there's one more thing that makes hip hop and especially my music stand out. Style, baby. I love hip hop and I love looking good. And Motorsport Playground is definitely the place to go if you love cars and want to stand out.
My love for cars started back in the day when we were in high school. Me and my boys, we used to have Nissan Bluebirds. It didn't matter what car it was. It's just the fact that we could drive somewhere, listen to music, and just be with your crew, you know? It represented freedom. Need for speed. I like running from the cops. <laughs> no, I'm joking, man. I like the fact that the cars, they're all real models. You can customize these rides. You could take a car, put some suicide doors on it, put 22 inch rims, put a nice paint job on it, and you know, it becomes your car. That applies to music too. Sometimes the simplest beat or simplest arrangement, you know, you add things onto it and it becomes you. And it becomes something relevant, becomes something that people can identify with. <laughs> Um, I think the similarities between Need for Speed in particular and my music is probably maybe the adrenaline rush that you get, you know, from being behind the wheel and also being on stage. For me, being on stage, I get a lot of energy from the crowd. As much as I give out energy to the crowd, you know, I get a lot of energy and I'm addicted to that. What drew me uh, to Need for Speed was the soundtracks, you know. The soundtrack has really inspired me over the years because for the first time I saw that hip hop and gaming can coexist. When I saw the participation of world-class artists like Kendrick Lamar, French Montana, Post Malone, I believe, has worked on the Need for Speed soundtrack as well. I just saw that, wow, this is a new way to engage with your listener. Listening to a track that you like or a genre that you like for the first time while playing games, I think it's such a unique combination, you know, unique experience. I think of gaming as my fuel, my creative recharge. I always find time for gaming. It has always been my escape from reality, so I can come back stronger in real life.